Facilities for teachers. What facilities do primary school teachers need? This was also seen as an important aspect to look at if education was to become of prime importance to Pakistan. Number one, the teachers of primary education should be provided some professional training. This was also a recommendation made in 1947. Obviously, it may not have been very successfully implemented, and it comes again in 1959 as a recommendation. Professional training is teacher training. How should a teacher behave, act, do things in the classroom? Content area information and a degree is not good enough. Teachers should be provided training that would help them do a better job in the classrooms. Providing this for primary teachers was important because if you focus only on the tertiary and secondary educations, the lower levels of education from where you are fed into the secondary system and then into the tertiary system wouldn't be very good. So focusing even on the primary school teachers receiving a training was a good sign. Refresher courses be arranged now and then for teachers. In other words, teachers were made, provided the option to take refresher courses. The courses had to be, of course, professional, had to deal with pedagogy and skills used in the classroom and those kinds of things. Short courses, maybe weekend modules, maybe during the summer break, maybe given some time off, but teachers were required to do refresher courses. One-time training is not good enough. Training has to be ongoing. So how do you provide maybe pre-service training as well as in-service training was seen as important. The service conditions of teachers be made better. This is providing a staff room or providing a facility at the different schools where the teachers could sit in their free time, work, check papers, check copies, do whatever they needed to. Working conditions, providing facilities, providing materials, providing help, books and guides for teachers was seen as a necessary requirement for primary education. Rewards in cash or certificates be given to teachers who show better work. This is the incentive program. After all, in all areas where people excel, people are recognized. Why not teachers? And it says both cash or certificates. Sometimes simply a certificate is good enough. Sometimes maybe a little cash reward is good enough. Sometimes maybe even both, depending on the kind of work and this is not to be done on a general basis every school one teacher should get a certificate no if nobody deserves a certificate no teacher should get it you have to do beyond the normal expectations of a teacher in order to receive a certificate and even much more than just the beyond if you want a cash incentive both of these are strong intensive incentives that would guide and help teachers perform better in order to receive the certificate or the cash or maybe even both. For the first time, three classes of primary education, female teachers to be preferred to male teachers. Primary education was for five years. The first three years it was recommended that female teachers be provided to those students instead of male teachers. The male teachers should come in maybe in year four and year five, but for the first three years, the children should be exposed to female teachers because they are seen as being the substitute mothers for young children in those classrooms. Residence arrangement for female teachers be made. Because schools were far apart and people could not really travel daily and maybe female t individuals were not allowed to travel long distances and far away, maybe transportation facilities were not good enough. And so the recommendation was made that hire female teachers and then provide them places to stay on campus. That would keep the female teachers there and you would be able to provide good quality education in the early years of primary education to Pakistani children. 